Ed, tell us what happened last week uh, with the toe. Yeah, well, I was really excited to be back. First main group session um, since I did my knee, but it was just in a contested marking drill, which I'd done quite a bit of before. And I was with Madge, and Mad big boy, he loves to push you off. So he pushed me off, and then I came back to kind of jump in and spoil. And I think I just landed on his foot, and it was the end of the drill, so all the boys ran off, and I was just standing there, signaled to one of the coaches and said, uh, this doesn't feel right. My toe just didn't really feel like it was in the socket, which is an uncomfortable feeling. But, um, yeah, it's it's not too bad now. Like, we had scans and um, we've moved on from there. Well, so can you describe the actual feeling? Was it a pop or was it just, did it feel loose or...? No, I didn't really feel anything when it happened. It was just after. I think in your boot, we wear quite tight boots and I could just feel the pressure in the wrong spots um, and I couldn't put any weight on it. So straight away, you know something's happened then. So I just put my hand up and... Yeah, it was really just pressure in the wrong spots, which, yeah, it was a, it was a weird feeling, a strange feeling. And what happened when they took the boot off uh, on the sidelines with the docks? What did they see? What did they have to do? Uh, well, it was just sitting up a little bit. So it wasn't fully dislocated. It was just a, a subluxation. So luckily, Bianca Scottney, great doctor, um, always made me feel really comfortable. And she just slipped it straight back in. So, yeah, it wasn't too painful at the time, but it was a kind of, yeah, an hour after that it got really, really sore. And I was a bit worried, but um, once we got the scans, I was, I was reassured from there. When you were coming off, I think most people feared the worst, thought you did a knee again. So in some really weird way, this is kind of re a relief that that's all it was. Is that how you felt as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think a few of the boys were really concerned and they said to me they were really distracted at training, thinking that I'd done my knee again. But I guess now, looking back at what could have happened, saw a surgeon last week and he said that if things went a little bit worse, it could have been surgery. Um, so I guess you kind of look back and, yeah, it might be a month or so off now, but it's not too bad. And coming from such long-term injuries, knowing that I'll be back out there with the boys in two, three, four weeks now, like, I'm really buoyed by that and I'm really excited just to get, out, get back out there as soon as I can. Do you sometimes feel you can't take a trick? Like, that's just a freak accident, isn't it? Like, that's not something you can control. Yeah, I guess it's the nature of my injuries. They've all been impact and out of my control. It's not as if I really feel for someone like a Taylor Garner, the frustration of having the same injury over and over again. So for me, I guess I'm able to compartmentalise and go, all right, I've got this injury. Yeah. For me now, it's a month and I can just focus on this and the rest of my body's great. So yeah, it is frustrating, but I guess you've kind of just got to, the old cliche, you've just got to take it a day at a time. And the nature of this injury, we, we say I ran yesterday and I'll run again today, and we can just see how it goes. We don't really have much of a plan, and if I'm playing in three weeks, that's great, but, um, yeah, there's no real plan, and we'll just, we'll just take it how the, the toe responds. You've got an amazing support network. Your parents, like, they're there pretty much every um, bump in the road, every up and down. That phone call to your parents probably would have been an awkward one. How did you approach that? Oh, yeah, I think it was lucky. We were, the media were there, so I think Laura Kane got on to Dad and just let him know that I'm OK, because, um, yeah, I guess my parents now, when they see me, limping off the field they fear the worst um, but yeah yeah as you said like they're they're great supports to me and they've been through it all so that's what really motivates me to get back and play AFL again is that for them um, and the people who've really shown me this support unwavering support over my career that I guess the feeling of well I might not be able to because they might not be able to come into the rooms but giving my family a hug after my first game and just that's really what motivates me and drives me to get back because, yeah, they've been, they've been massive for me. So if you say um, two, three, four weeks, is that back to play? Yeah, I think, well, I guess, as I said, like, we'll just take it as it comes. Um, back running now, um, going to get outside today and have a run. So hopefully by the end of next week, I might be able to do some skills and then train the week after. So, yeah, there's no real time limit, but within the next month, I'd hope to be putting my hand up for, for AFL selection. It's good news, mate. Thanks for the update. Thanks, Ed.